What's up everyone, my name is David Michon, and today I'll be sharing with you four tricks to use Melodyne like a pro. Let's get started. So the first thing we're gonna look at is not moving sometimes the beginnings of the words if they're not perfectly on pitch. This is a song by my friend Kamo. If you don't know him, look his stuff up on Spotify, it's awesome. But if we look over here, we'll see this beginning of this word right here. We can listen to it. Hi. To show me mercy. So on show, he kind of slid up into it. And what you don't want to do is you don't want to take this and bring it up there and make it all one pitch. It just kind of sounds funny. Try to show me mercy. It sounds way more natural with that slide, even though it's imperfect. And that's one of the powerful things about Melodyne is you get to leave a lot of stuff imperfect. All right, here's another example where he says show right here, and you can see we left it natural. I'm going to make it unnatural first. To show the All sorts of weird. Even though this is in between two notes, it just sounds right when it's left like that. To show the just sounds good and natural. So the second thing that we're going to look at is actually this formant tool right here or right here. This one is really good for when you're working on something, you move a note, or if even just your singer's performance is a little bit inconsistent and some of their notes are brighter or darker and you can just kind of hear it. So on this phrase, I actually did move these notes a little bit, as you can see. And this format tool makes a really big difference. So this is no format tool. All the while you still won't free me. So me just sounds a little swallowed and dark. So I'm just simply just gonna make it a little bit brighter. All the while you still won't free me. And that sounds much more natural with that beginning part of that phrase. So this one is going to be one that's a little bit opposite. So I actually made this note a little sharper. Because of that, it sounds just a little too sharp. So we're actually going to bring it down a little bit. So this is what it sounds like right now. But the difference here bits. We're just going to bring this down just a little bit. But the difference here between us is not. And that sounds much more natural. Another really cool tool that we have at our disposal is these little glides into the notes right here. So if you come in and you make these glides really intense like this, that's when you're going to hear the notes moving way too fast and you're just going to get this unnatural sound to it all. You know, if you're working on something and it starts to sound a little bit like you're moving too hard into the next note, especially on this phrase right here. You won't even try. I think, yeah, this one's already pretty steep. So actually, if you move them more this way, give yourself a little bit more transition, a little bit more of a glide or slide into that next note. You won't even try. Might even do just a little bit more. That sounds like a real performance. It sounds really nice. It doesn't sound too robotic. So here's another spot um, on this me right here. We're gonna just if we can listen to it. Your judging hurts me. We can come back this way. Don't care. Your judging hurts me. And you it sounds way more natural again, and that's what we like. Okay, my last tip for you guys is don't be afraid of the modulation and the drift tool. You can go really wrong, but they really do help tighten up a performance. So if we come over here and we listen to this, on this word right here, you're going to hear it just sounds a little shaky. The vibrato, the way he came through the note. So here it goes. It's like you don't understand me. You can hear on stand or just kind of waving around. So what we can do is we can actually just tighten it up just a little bit and we can use this drift to straighten it out. And a little bit goes a long way. It's like you don't understand me. And that just sound way more solid and tight right off the back. Now you can go way too much with this tool in both directions. But if you're just using it just a little bit to tighten up some notes, it'll really help you out. So here's the last example. Um, this one's not dramatic at all. Um, I've definitely had people come through the notes with a lot more of a drift than this. But here's what this one sounds like. Could it be you're seeing things? So he just slightly rises up through it. You'll see this a lot with people with a vibrato. They might do this with a vibrato. Things. And you can just level that note out a little bit. Could it be you're seeing things? And now it just sounds like he was tight on that note the whole entire time. 
So there it is. These are your four tricks to use Melodyne like a pro. If you want more of this content, please like this video, subscribe, leave a comment. It all helps. See you guys later.